I had just come back from the, it was like the film screening during Pride, right? So it was like, there was like a lot of feelings in the air about like being really proud to be LGBT and to be queer and in the city, cause it's like such an opportunity, right? To like be in the celebratory moment during, in like one of the biggest like gay meccas in the world. And so I was feeling really like inspired and we looked over at the mural and I, I told my friends about how powerful these images were and how beautiful they were and how they resonated with me and my culture and especially I noted this this man in the middle who like has these like thorns that are going across his chest that are like really in the same place as my own scars like where I have had surgery and I told one of my friends I was like isn't that amazing how that could be a trans man up there like it's like so close like the thorns are just in the right place and my friend was like Luciano, that is a trans man up there on the mural. That is you, like you are being depicted there. And it was this moment where I just had this like huge realization that I'd never seen myself up on a poster. This is part of who we are. And, I, and what they're doing is bridging both the queer and the brown and putting it in the same narrative and saying this doesn't have to be compartmentalized. This comes together, it's a whole package. So if I've always struggled, me personally as an artist, what I've always found the challenge is that people want to divide both identities, asking you what are you first, queer or brown? And the reality is that you're not neither because they, they both go hand in hand. I can't pick. We have to look a little deeper and look and examples of violence such as these that send a message. You are not allowed to be out in certain sectors of our community. And so I do believe that while they're not visible, that doesn't mean they don't exist. It's like one thing to be like defacing a mural in your neighborhood, but it's like another thing to like actively put in danger like the apartments in this building and La Galeria de la Raza, which is a community institution, in order to like try and erase part of your own community. Because you can't really think that you're protecting your people or like celebrating your neighborhood if you're also threatening it. Some people need to acknowledge that we are part of the community. We've been in the community. We've lived this lives. We've lived parallel lives. Um, and I've, I'm growing up, I felt like we've always been outcasted. A lot of people say queer people do not, didn't grow up in the hood, we didn't grow up in urban areas, we didn't grow up with this background of poverty, we didn't grow up with a sense of displacement. What the reality is that we've always been present. And for us, that's what the mural symbolized, the fact that we've constantly been present. But because of a patriarchal culture, we've always been invisibilized, so we've always been made to feel that we do not belong in that space, that other spaces have been created for us. So for us, it's more like, a, kind of like a reclaiming of like, I mean, we've, we're part of these stories, we're part of these narratives where your uncles, your cousins, your tias, like, you can't deny that, right? You need to acknowledge us. I, I feel like we, we definitely with the art that we put up, we always try to challenge and spark conversations. And I feel like this piece would definitely bring that conversation to life. Um, and it did. it did.